Hello Curious Coders, this is Bruce and the Dog on the Floor, and today we are going to talk about Elixir, this marvelous, functional, fault-tolerant, and concurrent programming language. I want to give you a sense of some of the things that can motivate you if you're learning Elixir or wanting to take it a little bit deeper. Let's go! Now, before you get too far, you should go to elixirlang.org and you should follow the installation instructions here. It doesn't matter what operating system that you're working on, but sometimes it helps if you have a multi-version system. For example, I'm going to click on the Mac OS, and I'm going to scroll down, and you can see the ASDF here. This is the one that I use, but you could use any of the others. And what this will allow you to do is work with multiple versions of Elixir. And this might come in handy if you have a project at work and a project at home, and a learning project like the ones that we'll have in Groxio so that you don't have to switch versions as you go. One of the first reasons that you should be motivated to try Elixir is that for such a young language, it has a surprisingly robust set of tools. And one of the tools that's particularly good is the console. And you can enter it with interactive Elixir after you've done your installation. So this is the console, and you can see that there's a pretty robust help system that's built in. You might not understand how to use all of this right now. This is more likely to be used as help for the IEX system itself than for the Elixir language, but this is just a good example of how well-rounded the language itself is. And I want to show you how you can use the kernel to get a little bit of help about the things that you're dealing with in the Elixir language. So for example, let's write our first Elixir program. It's 42, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. And I can press I, and you could see that this is IEX command that showed up in help earlier, this one right here. And it's going to give me a little bit of assistance or IEX info for the last thing that I typed. And so I get the term back. I can understand that the term was 42, that this was an integer, and that if I want to go looking for functions related to this data type, this is a good place to look. So for example, if I type integer and then press dot and tab, these are some of the functions that are available to me. So the first reason that you should be motivated to use Elixir is that the tooling is excellent, and the further that we get into it, the more that you're going to grow to appreciate this tool set. The next reason that you're going to grow to appreciate Elixir is that it's a functional language. And that hasn't been very important in the past, but now concurrency is very important, especially due to the new microprocessor designs. And what that means is that specifically functional languages have a series of properties that make it easy to build concurrent systems. So for example, let's build a quick program, def module. So this is going to be the container for the code. And I'm going to build a a module called my math and then I'm going to have a function called add and then I'm, all this is going to do is add these two together yes and now what I can do is say x is equal to 42 and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send x through a couple of paces. So I'm going to say, first I want to import all the functions in here. So I'm going to import. So we're going to start with x and we're going to feed that in and add one. And then we're going to feed that in and we're going to add two. And that's going to give us 42 plus 1 plus 2, which gives us 45. But if I look at the value of x, x is unchanged because once I set x the first time, its value is immutable. So anyone that is sharing this particular memory address is not going to have to worry that it's changed underneath them, and that's going to make concurrent programs much easier to write. 
We're excited to have you come along with us on your learning journey. If you want more insights like the one you just saw, come to Groxio and subscribe for a deeper dive where you can find more topics and videos to support your learning needs. So the second reason that you should be motivated to learn Elixir is that it supports functional programming very, very well. It's a functional language. The next reason that you should be motivated to learn Elixir is that the abstractions are excellent. And while that might not mean much to you on a day-to-day -day basis, it does mean a lot for the language and the ecosystem behind it. Since Elixir supports a concept called macros, the creators of the language can use Elixir to build the language itself. Let me show you one of the underpinnings of macros. So Elixir has this thing called a syntax tree underneath it. So I could say, quote, do, then I could say x plus one. And what this is showing me is that there's a simple structure which is just a list of these things called tuples that allow me to express the program one step at a time. For example, one of the things that you noticed was that I called the plus function. And here's the plus. And then you can see the arguments x and 1. You might not understand this right now, but what it means to you is that Elixir can be written in Elixir itself which means it's going to evolve rapidly and which means that it's going to keep up with many of the changes that are happening in the modern programming world. Elixir has excellent abstractions. So the next reason to be excited about Elixir is that Elixir is a concurrent language. So for example, I can send and receive messages very easily in Elixir. For example, I could say send a message to myself and that's a function. And I want to send the message called hi. So I've sent this message. And how can I tell that the message is sent? Well, I can ask for all the messages using IEX's excellent helper feature. So I've just received the message called hi from my process mailbox. So it's very easy to send a message to myself to another process on the same node, to another node on the same computer, or somewhere else on a different network. And all of the syntax is the same. That means Elixir's concurrency is very easy to use. The next reason to be excited about Elixir is that it is a concurrent language with excellent features for managing processes. Now, one of the last reasons to adopt Elixir is that it is one of the most reliable languages ever made. I want to show you something. One of the things that we'd like to do in Elixir is start other processes. But if one crashes, we often want the one that started it to crash as well. Why? Because it makes it much easier to recognize whether a whole system is working if all processes that share the same goals and the same subsystem are tied together with links. So I'm going to spawn a process, but I'm going to spawn it in a way that is linked to the one that created it. And all I have to do is specify a function that tells me what I want this process to do. And what do I want this process to do? Well, I want it to crash. So I'm going to say raise. I want to raise an exception, and I just want to call this exception a system exception that's labeled boom. So watch this number right here. What happened? We just had a crash, but Elixir kept the system alive by letting the process crash and then starting it again in the last known clean state, which was startup time. And that's an incredible feature that's allowed some Elixir systems to stay up even for years at a time. So Elixir is an excellent language to learn. That's why so many people want to run it, because it's reliable, because it's productive, and because it's fast. Why? Because it's a functional language with excellent tooling and good abstractions. 
so that it can run concurrently and it has the system underneath it that promises excellent reliability. And that's an excellent thing. From Bruce and the dog on the floor, this is Groxia Learning.